On a bright day at Howland and Wolfe's yard at Belfast, Lady Wood, wife of the Air Minister, arrives to launch Britain's latest 23,000 tons aircraft carrier. Sir Kingsley is here too, but little do they or the mighty crowd realise that the day is to end in drama and tragedy. Already scores of workmen are knocking away the blocks. Dozens of others are underneath the keel of the ship. When suddenly, half an hour before time, the cry goes up, she's moving. With presence of mind, Lady Wood christens the ship as the 23,000 ton monster gathers speed out of control. Now see how the slipway is torn to pieces. Watch how the giant cradles are lifted into the air and broken like matchwood. At this moment, 22 people are being injured and one woman is being killed. And our cameraman further down the slipway gets one amazing shot before he too is knocked over in a swirl of timber. There he goes. And with little check swinging from side to side, the formidable gathers more speed as she dives down with a roar of dividing waters. One by one, the men who were underneath the ship climb out of the wreckage. When she started to move, each threw himself on his face and it's little short of a miracle that not one of them was injured. Before the great ship has even come to rest, foremen are having a roll call, and here again the answer is a sigh of relief. Meanwhile, the injured have been taken to hospital, while Mrs. Kirk, wife of a shipyard driller, has died of a fractured skull. But her death proves to be the one note of deep tragedy, for all the other injured are able to return to their homes after treatment, and a hurried inspection proves that the hull of the formidable is undamaged. Although at one point she swayed from side to side, she was so perfectly balanced on the slipway that in other respects the launch was normal. So a feeling of relief and thankfulness spreads across the shipyard that looks like the aftermath of an earthquake. What might have been a horrible disaster will go down in shipbuilding history as the ship that launched herself.